What's up everybody, hope you're doing well. Did you know that the Atlanta Falcons selected John Wayne, yes, the John Wayne, the Academy Award winning actor from the Alamo, True Grit, and the Searchers in the final round of the 1972 NFL Draft? Yeah, that means the Atlanta Falcons selected John Wayne when he was 64 years old. Now as crazy as that may seem, it isn't as insanely baseless a pick as one might think, being that the Duke did play at USC where he was an offensive tackle before an injury ultimately ended his career before it even began at the pro level. But this didn't deter then Falcons head coach Norm Van Brocklin, who was reportedly quoted for asking his staff, do we want the roughest, toughest SOB with this pick or don't we? And right after dropping that banger of a line, the Atlanta Falcons filled out their draft card, which read John Wayne out of Fort Apache State, to which the NFL said, seriously? No, 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 no. Like for real? <laughs> and of course, the NFL quickly disallowed the pick before Pete Rozelle could even say, howdy pilgrims. So instead, with that pick, the Falcons selected running back Bill Holland, who, interestingly enough, was also out of USC. However, they would have been just as well off had they drafted the former Western movie star, because Holland's career on Unfortunately for him and the Falcons, did not amount to much either. How crazy is that John Wayne drafted into the NFL to the Falcons and it wasn't even Jerry Glanville that okayed that? <laughs> <laughs> you know, but Van Brocklin is definitely up there as well being that I mean as you can see the resemblance is uncanny <laughs> But yeah, just an interesting draft story for you guys heading into this awesome draft season. Love you guys. Appreciate you guys Keep it strange everybody. I'll see you in the next one and peace out